we? You have no idea. In this film, we, we wanted to kind of strip it back and wanted to have more fun with it, you know? And Taika had the exact same idea we were both saying. In Thor Ragnarok, let's try and have more attitude. Who just got replaced? <laughs> Ragnarok's sort of a new cycle in the life of the world, in all the realms of the universe. It's the destruction of the old and the rebirth of the new. And that's really exciting to me. Surprise! This will be such fun. The way that I've approached this is to rebuild it in a new way. You look great, dude. You do, man. You've got a thunder. Tonally, I think, is just a perfect mix for where the character and story needed to go. You know, different costumes, different weapons, different cast or characters to work off give you a different energy. Yes! Thor has been a crisis. He never went back to Asgard to claim the throne. He wanted adventure. When we pick him up, he's at the end of this search for himself. What are the odds we survive this trip? I'd say the odds are about a million to fun. You know, I want to take people on a ride and, and inject some comedy into it, an adventure that keeps people laughing along the way, but also has the spectacle and the stuff that it gets people excited. He's a fighter. Okay, so keeping with the comic book movie theme, did you know that the train scene in Spider-Man 2 cost more than $150 million to shoot? The producers had to close down more than 20 miles of New York City streets and purchase a $6 million subway train to decimate during the scene. Mm. Now, if you haven't already done it, remember to subscribe and click the notification bell to always receive the latest trailers the moment they are online. See you next time. Bye.